thank you all for spending your Thursday afternoon and evening with me. I appreciate you taking the time. I'm um, hopefully uh, wherever you are, it's as beautiful as it is here in Las Vegas today. Real quickly, let me just introduce myself. My name is J.D. Gray. I am the general manager of Mailbox Print and Business Center, as well as the overall corporate vice president of operations. What we're going to discuss this afternoon and this evening is, of course, mailbox print and business centers. Is it right for you? You know, why now? Or, or, you know, is it something that you want to do and, and you feel that you're comfortable doing? How does, um, you know, MBS, mailbox centers, help you? You know, what, what is the process? So we're going to cover those topics, and certainly we won't be able to cover probably every detail, everything that uh, will come up, which is why I would, I would encourage you, whatever, after we're done, these questions come up. I would just ask you to write those down. And then I believe on the emails that you all got, you either had Brent's um, contact information or Sean's. I, I would ask you then to reach out to them tomorrow. They will absolutely be ready to answer all questions so that we can make sure that we fill in any gaps that I may leave, hopefully not, but I may, and that we can really open up this incredible opportunity. I, I will tell you, this um, is such a energized business. It's such an opportunity for people who are interested in being their own boss, who have that entrepreneurial spirit, who just really want to get under the umbrella of following other people's directions, their hours, their rules, you creating your own path to success. The nice thing about mailboxes is it's, it's service-oriented. You're not having to work those retail hours. I don't know if any of you are currently now or have been in retail, but if you have, you know what I'm talking about. Potentially seven days a week, 50, 60, 70 hours, 10, 11, 12-hour days. This isn't the case with mailbox and print, as well as just the, the growth that this is showing. So as I really break into this, um, let, let me talk about what we as a company do for you. And then after we do that, we'll, we'll kind of fill in the gaps about as we do that, so what does it mean to you personally? As an organization, we, we have obviously sales groups, finance, real estate, and operations. So when you decide, and if you decide that this is what you want to do, you'll reach out to our group and you'll first talk to either Brent or Sean. Both have been with the company multiple years, both incredibly knowledgeable. And what you'll find as you deal with the employees of this company, they truly care about you and your success. I was just talking to Brent earlier today, and he takes it incredibly personal on you and you doing well and making sure that we're living up to our obligations to help you do that. So you talk to them. They really talk a lot about the services that we offer, the concept. Is this right for you? And if you decide yes, that you would like to move forward. If you would have mind muting the phone, whoever has a dog, barking dog, that'd be wonderful. Um, then what we do is we take a $500 deposit so you can move on. Fully refundable. The only two reasons that wouldn't be refundable is one, if you get funding through our brokers, or two, you've gone to real estate and a, and a, and a formal letter of intent has been signed. Other than that, full refund, you know, you dipped your toes in the water and you decided maybe this wasn't for you. Because certainly we don't want you to move forward it if it isn't for you. So then if you decide, yes, I would like to move forward, you then go to finance. We have professional finance advisors who walk you through the process. They acquire information from you. They put together in a packet. And then based upon what you're looking to do, they connect you with third-party brokers. We have um, a network of brokers that we send you to, and then they continue to, our finance folks continue to shoulder to shoulder, help you through the process, navigate it, and move forward. 
if you have your own funding and you don't need that, you go straight to real estate. Once you're through finance and you're ready to move, then you get assigned a site locator and a, and a um, registered leasing manager real estate broker. What happens then is intro call takes place. They're going to have an incredibly detailed conversation with you to find out, one, what areas you're looking for. You know, what ideas do you have and what's important? How far out do you want to go? What communities do you want to go? What size store are you looking for? Um, they gather all of that information. They talk about them themselves, and then they get to work. Um, your site locator is, is um, going to be reaching out to brokers in your area, not just going on MLS. They'll be reaching out to brokers, discussing because many sites and, and properties aren't on the MLS. They don't advertise because they don't have to in some cases. They're reaching out to them, finding out what they have. And, and they have multiple things that they're looking. And what's great about this program, you have access to our proprietary um, site. And what is on there? There's a real estate tab. Everything you're, for any site that you're interested in or that we come and present to you, you're able to see. You're able to see all the demographics, all the marketing maps, all of the information on that particular site and, um, say, mall, if it was in a mall. You're able to see medium incomes. You're able to see traffic patterns. Um, you're, you're able to see who all the neighbors are. You get all of the information that you could possibly need visually as well as, you know, in print so that you can help make a decision. And then you certainly are going to play a role. We're going to make sure that you go out and you visit that site. We're going to want you to be there, and I'd imagine you would want to be there, at a 5 o'clock on a Friday. What are the traffic patterns? What are the traffic patterns Saturday at 10? You know, Wednesday at 4? We really want you to be able to make a very informed decision because at the end of the day, again, we're not a franchise. This is your store. You're the one who's going to have to make that final decision. But we're going to make sure you have absolutely all of the information so, again, you can make the best decision for you. Because certainly, as we know, real estate is key. Re you know, real estate, location, marketing, key to what your, your success is going to be. Once you narrow that down, to two or three sites. Our leasing managers are obviously communicating with the brokers, and they negotiate, and they are absolutely your advocate, and they're going to negotiate hard for you. They're going to work hard to see what they can do in free rent, 90 days, 120, 180. They're going to negotiate so they can get you as much free rent as possible. You know, why is that important? Kind of obvious. If you're not paying rent, that money can go invested into your business. That money can go invested into marketing to grow your business. That money can go into a nest egg to make sure that you have that, that net and that foundation as you open up and you move your business along. They're going to negotiate um, terms to make sure that your restroom is ADA compliant may not seem like a big deal, but if it's not and it's time for inspections, that's potentially a ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollar um bill that you would have to have to have someone fix it. They're gonna work on getting the landlord to uh you know flooring, walls, paint, and if not, see what they can do to negotiate T I, tenant improvement money, so that the landlord actually gives you money so that you do it. Um they're going to do all of that. Then they're going to obviously present that to you, review it with you, answer any questions, because, again, you're the one who's going to make that decision. Once that's done and you, you've picked that prime location, you're comfortable with it, you sign a lease, at that point then you're going to transition over to operations, which, by the way, I happen to oversee as well. And so... At that point, what you're going to do is you're going to be working with my team in operations. 
we will do an intro call and we'll really walk you through the process. And that process being what is required. You know, we, we cover um, two main areas on that first call. Legally, what's required for you as an owner to make sure that you can open a site. Your LLC, registering your name and verifying that it isn't used by somebody else. Getting your EIN, getting your state tax ID, talking to City Hall to find out if you need a certificate of occupancy. And it goes throughout that. And then the other area of that is we're going to make sure that we discuss what does the physical plant need to be so that when my setup um, team arrives, your site is ready for us to present and create a beautiful store for you. Another set of processes will come from my mailbox assistant. And what she will do is she'll present you with links for training, contacts for um, the folks who help with web pages, with marketing. She'll get, she, um, she sets up training, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, so again, it's just another example, shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand, to make sure you have a great store and we're creating a foundation for your success. As we continue, obviously we're talking every week. Anytime you need something, if we haven't talked yet, you're going to call and, and leave a message, talk to us directly. We tend to get back to everybody 99% of the time the same day. Um, then as we get closer to the store setup, I will let you know who your store setup supervisor is. They reach out to you. We typically start our store setups on Mondays. Um, the store supervisor flies in Saturday night, Sunday. They meet with you on Sunday. They walk your store, make sure no surprises, which there should be because we we're, we're going to have all sorts of pictures. And Monday morning, away we go. Fixtures start arriving, trucks start arriving, and that happens throughout the whole week. Obviously, we have assistance and a group of people doing all of the tracking, letting the store supervisors know what to expect. We get updates every night. So I get pictures knowing as of 5 o'clock tonight, my guys that are doing store setups this week, I will get an email here within about 45 minutes that lets me know what they received, what the store looks like. I'll have pictures, any concerns, any questions. And quite honestly, I ask them to let me know, so how much was the owner in the store today? Because we need you connected. We need you engaged. Those people who do that are very successful. <clears throat> Those who don't, it takes longer. Um, the ideal is that your store is ready for a soft open that Saturday, a grand opening two weeks later. The reason we have you do a soft open on that Saturday is once orders are placed, we have no control until we're unloading that truck for you and setting it up. And this is obvious. I don't control the pandemic. I don't control weather. I don't control if a truck breaks down. I don't control if when we unload a fixture and we get it all wrapped, it looks beautiful, and all of a sudden we see that during shipping they broke it. Those things absolutely happen, and I let everybody know because it's real important to know what could, what has, and what you know may happen, and then that just means the store is ready to open on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Don't get real excited about it because it is what it is, and we don't control it. And then through after that, we are still here to connect with you, to help you, to support you, to follow up on you. So let's talk about training, because that happens prior to that. So thankfully, we are now here in Las Vegas as of June 1st, it's supposed to be 100%. Um, right now we're at 80. And we have um, made a decision and, and got the approval that we will go back to in-house training. That has not happened for the last, what, 14, 15 months. But we are now going back to in-house training so that people that they can fly into Vegas. We have specific times, and um, those get sent out. We get enrollments. Two people per store can, can come because we need to accommodate as many people as possible in many stores. It is two days in the corporate office training. The gentleman who does that, we opened his store 11 years ago. He's been our trainer for six, seven years. He runs a very successful mailbox and print store. Um, and, and it's two days of operation training. 
On the third day, if you're a print store, you will go to our gentleman who is the owner and distributor of the entire print package for us, and you'll spend half a day with him learning print, doing hands-on, and then he spends quite a bit of time in marketing. What's great about that is that that isn't the end of that training with him. I believe he told me it's like every other weekend that there's Zoom trainings that continue training, whether it be Saturday, Sundays, and he'll, he, you know, he sends that out. You're part of his network, and you talk a lot about marketing. How do you market your business? Talk about hands-on. What are opportunities to in, drive your revenue? Increase sales. Get out do business to business. Um, and the, he, I, I think it's a six-week program that that continues. He's also available technically anytime there's an issue. You call him in. You, you, you put in a ticket. They tend to get back to you within 30 minutes, if not five minutes, to help you. I've actually seen that happen, and they not only commit to it, they do it. Um, and then what we do after that on the fourth day is you spend – hands-on working in a store, one of the stores that we have opened. We have multiple stores here in Vegas um, that we have opened, and uh, you spend Thursday with them so that you can spend time on the binder, on the passport, kind of hands-on on, on shipping. How do you weigh stuff? How do you do it? And then you fly home or you spend some time with us here in Vegas and, and enjoy the strip and what it, Vegas has to offer. The other thing is prior to that, you get web links to help you prepare and to study. So that, that happens as well. In addition to that, the software company actually conducts Zoom training, and I believe it's four or five hours prior to, and you get access so that you can practice the software beforehand. And then they do a four or five hour training on the software and the computer before you ever come to here for training or before we're ever at your store. So it's quite exclusive. It's, it's quite extensive. We're, thankfully we're back to what we used to be, you know, for the last 14 months, it's all been zoom and, um, and um, web links and web pages. So this is, this is really going to be helping. So that actually happens um, starting in June. We already have dates for June, July, and August um, um, scheduled and set up. So, that is, you know, that's how that goes. So those processes are there to help you and, and everything else. So kind of in a nutshell, that's our, that is, as a development company, what we do for you. I think the important thing is it's, it's kind of a collaborative effort between you as an owner and us, which is great. You're not part of a franchise. That's why we're going to make sure you're part of this process is because it is your store. You know, you're not going to pay, thankfully, you know, 10% of your profits to us every month. I'm not going to tell you what color uniforms you need to wear, what your store needs to look like, you know, what, you know, what size paper you're going to use. You are the owner. The success of that store is going to come down to your determination, your um, fortitude, your aggressiveness, your desire, and your never-say-die attitude. You know, it's really going to come down to that. As I tell clients all the time, you know, it's not like, you know, the baseball movie, you know, build it and they will come. It isn't just about opening a store and just saying, okay, my cash drawer is open, come and fill it up. There's a lot of work that comes to being an owner. You have to be willing to pound the pavement. You have to, you know, schedule on a weekly basis two, three hours that are scheduled that you're committed to to do marketing, whether it be on the phone, whether it be going out and talking to people live, schools, universities, um, doctor's offices, here, casinos, businesses, you know, all of that makes a huge difference on your success. You need to go out there and let the community know you're there. Don't wait for them to find you. They'll find you, but you want to do everything you can to drive that process moving forward. So then it's the next question, maybe now that you know that, well, boy, is now the right time? You know, they're, they were, we're, you know, still kind of 
in the grasp of the pandemic in certain places, other places not, you know, is now a good time. And yes, now's a great time. Um, and, and, and don't misunderstand this statement. The pandemic was awful. It is tragic what it has done to, to communities around the world. I will tell you from a business standpoint, mailbox being an essential business, stayed open, and the business has increased significantly, and it continues to grow. Why? Well, so many people worked remotely. So many companies have decided they're going to continue that by choice. Yahoo, Google, Microsoft, eBay, many of their employees get to work from home. That means they no longer have an, a, uh, an office print and ship and copy center. They've gotten used to going to their local mailbox and print store. That continues. Um, many pe people would just as soon walk in, you know, to a, 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 a local mailbox store and have a notary done. You know, 95% of our, 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 our owners are notary. Folks are going to do that. They're not going to go to a bank and try to schedule time for someone to do a notary. They're going to go there and do print. We have examples all over where we have clients who walk into our stores to do print. They do their banners. They do their mailers. We have some that deal with doctors without borders that have mailers. We have, um, you know, here I know that uh, they're going to casinos and they do that. 72% of all businesses do some type of a direct mail piece. Well, they have to go somewhere to do that. You're perfect for that. And we'll talk a little bit about print here in a little while. So yes, now is a perfect time to do print because that, that is continuing. And again, you know, just to, to let you know that it isn't just me. 2020, UPS operating profit that was adjusted, $8.7 billion. During the pandemic, when most folks were struggling, their business increased 7%. Federal Express, $71 billion. You know, from a print standpoint, 2020, the industry, $411 billion is what print did. They are projecting by 2026, $472 billion industry. So again, is now the right time? Now is a perfect time. Then, you know, many folks ask after that, is this for me? You know, and, and, and I must tell you, I can give you this information, but really you're the one that has to decide, is it for you? And I'm going to be very honest. If it isn't for you, don't do it. You, you know, we want folks to be successful. And again, to be successful, committed, willing to get out in the community and market your business, being able to be organized and set schedules to do that, not shy, willing to roll up your sleeves, take the punches, get up off the canvas, and continue to go willing to understand that it's not going to be easy, um, but relishing in the fact that you're not working for anybody but you, your legacy, doing something for your family, your children, your grandchildren, your spouses, your partners, doing something that me really matters and that you get to reap the benefits of your hard work, you're not working for anyone else. For some people, that's scary. For other words, that is fuel to the fire. And then you have to decide, you know, if that's you. Um, you know, other people ask about, well, what's my customer base? Well, your customer base is anybody. You know, it is the person who needs notaries, as we mentioned. It is the folks that need to mail presents to their grandkids, their relatives in another country, um, architects, business people that need to do blueprints. Um, you know, just 
it's, it's, it's virtually anybody, any demographic, any socioeconomic position, you are satisfying a need. Also, we very much are lucky we're living in a time where individual ownership, American ownership, um, non-corporate ownership plays is very important. Um, if you wouldn't mind muting the phone, that'd be wonderful. Um, and, and that really is great. The local community supporting business owners in their community. That is driven hard and that really helps you as a business owner. Now let's talk a little bit about print. We, you know, we have three packages that a client can do. Obviously the foundation started 15, 20 years ago um, with strictly ship and post. Um, some folks did a wonderful job over the last five, six, seven years on really evolving that to include print. They, they did a great job. And so now what happens is, is that you're, you're able to not only have the foundation of post and ship, you have a print center. If you have our standard package, it includes everything that our value pack has, which is all the post and ship, you know, all of that um, information. And it includes a 44 inch large format printer. It includes extra computers, um, extra printers. People come to you and it's set up so that they put in and they program what they want. And then, you know, it, it does it. And we talked about it. Banners, yards um, signs, business cards, photos. Great opportunity for any of you who, you know, have children that are getting close to being seniors. Those real expensive senior photos. You can do the same thing for a fraction of the cost for the client and your profit's amazing. Um, you know, it, 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 you can do individual wraps, um, packaging, where um, you know, folks want to do Christmas wrapping, birthday wrapping, but they want to have their pictures on it, their dog's pictures. You offer that as well. Um, I will just tell you, from a profit standpoint, let me give you a couple examples. An 18 by 24 inch canvas print takes you as an owner five minutes to do cost you eight dollars if you you know your cost is eight dollars that sells for 69.99 and that isn't just that's your store that's the company standard business cards cost you a dollar 20 to do for a pack of um 200 you sell them for 19.99 so just a couple examples if you look at the profit margin of print added to your mailbox, it is, the, the sky's the limit. You know, we have stores out there that, you know, have been open, you know, a year, two years, three years, and, and, and even before you gain momentum, your marketing, you know, stores that do mail and print, you know, average, and again, it depends on you as an owner and, and how hard you're willing to work, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month. You add print, that can go up to twenty, twenty-five, thirty thousand. Heck, we had a, a, an owner just recently. We were talking to fifty thousand dollars a month, and that was obviously driven very hard by print. Um, you know, we had another gentleman and, and wife that were just so excited, three hundred thousand dollars in print alone in, in his fiscal year last year. So, again. Those are unique situations. Those are people that are upbeat, positive, aggressive. You know, old saying, I grew up in the country, grab the bull by the horns and, and get out there and, and take care of it. Um, our packages start 
It's 78.9 for the value pack, and that is all the um, post and ship. You can go to the standard package, which includes all of the post and ship plus the whole print center. It's 98.9. So that is what we do as a company. That's the industry. You know, and then it really comes down to, so is it for you? You know, is this something that you want to do? So I would love to open it up to questions. Um, please, you know, take take off mute, ask you whatever you want, and, and let's see what I can answer because I, I really want to give a clear understanding of this industry and just the amazing opportunities it is and what it offers for you. So are there any questions? Now, there have to be questions. I did not do that great of a job. I do have a question. Wonderful. Um, if, so if we started off with just like the basic um, store, and yes, then could we add the print at a later date? Absolutely. Great question. In fact, someone asked me that earlier today. Absolutely. And we would work um, with you with our print company so that you would get the same prices that you would get um, through our package. Great. great. And, we yeah, have, and, and I'll um, tell you, we have many clients who do that because they, you know, financially they're at a certain point. They want to build that foundation and awareness, and then they start. So absolutely, great question, but yes, you can. Perfect. Thank you. My pleasure. I thought there was another question. Yes, package one, two, and three. So what is the difference between these packages? Well, I, if you would like, I could give you my email, and then I will email you the, the, um, this uh, piece of paper I have in my hand that has each package. But again, the value package is post and print. It's all of the fixtures, POS system, mailbox, interior signage, binding machines, laminator, a copier, rental computer, um, a touch screen monitor so that people can actually do some ordering of, of products in your store. It has a 50-inch monitor screen for, um, for you, the software package, a trimmer. It, it has all of that. It, that, is, that is our value pack. That's the 78.9. And then, you know, you go from there to the standard. It's all of that. Plus, then you're adding, as I said earlier, the large format printer, oh, okay. the, the mobile scanner, um, upgraded signage, paid subscriptions, touchscreen monitor, increased um, um, the retail product, $7,500 worth of uh, wholesale priced retail. Um, and, and then from there, you go to the premium package. And again, it includes the first two packages. Now you add a commercial sublimation multi-use printer, a commercial heat press. You can do cup and mug presses. Um, additional fixtures, additional POS, additional rental computer. There's allowances for some of the things that, uh, you know, if you wanted to get a gate, there's an allowance there. Um, exterior signage, there's an allowance there. Things that aren't offered in the other two. But again, I would be more than happy to send you a copy of what I just said because it's obviously there's many more and it's in much more detail. What I would suggest on any of those questions Please call Brent or Sean, and okay, I will discuss with Brent. Okay. And then he absolutely, because then then they can answer your very specific questions, um, so that they make sure that they answer exactly what you're asking. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Can we can we add more services to the package? Let's see. We want to do like uh, web page design, computer repair, uh all those other services that you don't have and we add them you're right they're not part of our package so you wouldn't be able to add that through us but again the great advantage it's your store you can do whatever you want and add it i mean we have clients who do um dmv we have we have some clients that have done um, lottery we have some clients who do fingerprinting um you know, we, we so I, I think, you know, I, I, the sky's the limit on what you can do because you're the owner. What is the 500 deposit include that we have to give? Like, what does that include? 
basically what that does, and, and by the way, that also goes towards your package as you go through. So the 500 deposit basically gets you in-house because we're going to start working on the finance part for you, the real estate, the oper and you don't pay us a dime after that until you go to operations. We need to make sure there's some financial commitment, some skin in the game that someone's serious when we're going to do all of that work for you. You go through the process, you get your package, you get the store, that $500 goes towards your package. Because there's a significant amount of work and money that's spent from our company as we get you through this process. Well, my last question is, you you choose the location or what about if I, like, I know the location that will work perfect for me. You have to approve it or? Well, let's say that you have your own, let's say you either have your own location or there's just one that you just know is great because you're in the community. You give that information to our guys, they will get all of the research that I talked about earlier, and they'll give that to you so you can make an informed decision. At the end of the day, all that's going to be presented. We're going to give you our professional opinion, but you're going to say yes or no. And, and, and certainly we have no problem if we think based upon all of the data that that's not a good location. We're going to tell you it's not a good location and tell you why. But at the end of the day, you will decide. We've had clients that absolutely said, hey, I appreciate all the information. This is the site I want. We, you know, we're, we're going to give you a beautiful store because you're the owner. And the same thing if you come to us with your own property and your own site, which happens many times. We're going to run the same data for you, you know, based on the area to, to let you know, hey, this location is great for mailbox and print. Or, you know, maybe it's not great for that. But it would, based on all of the um, information and data, maybe it'd be great for dollar party or team. You know, we're going to give you all of the information so you can make a very informed decision. I have a small question, if possible. Um, now, now, let's say that I uh, I picked the middle package, and now I have a partner. We will be working together. Um, now, do I whenever I add up into that package later in the future do i need more like some some hand to work because it would be too much for one person or two to work with i guess there's two answers um one hopefully you will need some more people because you're so busy um but you know many folks when they first open it'll be the owner they may have a partner and that's what they need you may hire a part-time individual to, to help out. And as you grow, you, you may decide, hey, I need to order, uh, order. I need to hire another part-time person. At the end, the, the package itself doesn't necessarily dictate because so much of the print, since you're asking about the print, so much of that is self-serve. You know, if you, if you and your partner train, you know, learn this very well, so much of this is the client goes over, they go to the kiosk, they input the job. There's hundreds of templates for each different app and different category. And you really don't play a part until it's ready. They come up to the counter, they let you know, you click a key, you finish the job for them, you take the payment, and they're done. So much of, of the packages in regards to print is truly self-serve. So, no, you're not going to need a staff like you would in retail. Thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. On the premium package, is there a certain square footage of store that you need for all of that equipment? Yeah, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400. I mean, we, we put them in and they fit very nicely, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300. Okay. You know, and, and typically, you know, the, the other packages, 900, 1,000, 1,100, fits very nicely and it's not crowded. It's not cramped. You're ADA compliant, obviously. We have to make sure of that. And you have a really nice flow. I have a line on the property. I'm just not sure what the square footage is. We've got to do more research. Again, as you get in-house, you give them the address. We, we, we find out that information for you. We, we have oh, many. I'm a, homework, have, I'm a homework type of guy. I'm going to do that anyway. I, I kind of like leaving that homework when I left college. So, <laughs> But that's good. Anything further from anybody? 
thank you so much for spending your valuable time with me this evening to go over this. It, it is greatly appreciated. I would ask, please, any questions, reach out to Brent, reach out to Sean, and then if there's even further questions beyond that, they'll just send you straight to me. Um, you know, like I said, great concept, great opportunity. You just have to decide, is it right for you? So thank you all. Have a wonderful evening. And again, I really appreciate your time. Good night, everybody. Bye. Mailbox Print and Business Center Developers. Over 500 stores opened since 2004. 